episode of Retail Tycoon 2 where, I, I, I swear to God guys, the developer right now, he is like so hyped up, he's been drinking too much tea, he's been having too much KFC because there is another brand new update and today they have added in helicopters. Yes, you heard it here right, we had trains, then we had buses, we had blimps or airships, that's what you call it, and now boys, we have actual helicopters. This is actually crazy, what is going on, who even am I, why is my character so tall? All these questions and more are going to be asked in today's video. So, guys, if you do enjoy this, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode to come out. But I'm back in the Fool's Mall. I'm back in the Fool's Mall. And before we talk about these uh, helicopters and what they pretty much do, uh, last time we played this, we had the airships. Now, I'm not sure what's going on. Where is my delivery driver with the airship? Oh, wait, where did my... De did someone fire my, my delivery driver with the freaking cargo airship right now? Right, it should be up there. Is it up there? Yes. I had to build this ladder system to get onto the actual roof to where we have our big kind of cargo airship, which is actually huge. It's massive. It's massive. It was 850000 to buy, which is really expensive. But I think the developers take an inspiration from this cargo stuff. I've noticed something, right? I've noticed something. We got the trains and they were super expensive, like 5 million. People complained. So what he did then, he's added buses in. So it's kind of the same, but cheaper. Cargo ships, super expensive. So is this cargo helicopter going to be slightly cheaper? We're going to find out. Now, before we can actually buy one, I need to actually build or place down where we get the stuff from. Um, infrastructure, movement. Uh, oh, no, it's it's the other side. Hold on. Okay, it's going to be... Let me. Okay, it's going to go on the roof. It's going to go on the actual roof right now. But look at the size difference right now, guys, from the cargo um, airship to the helicopter one. There is a noticeable height difference. This is only 5,000 versus this is 10,000. So by that logic, I'm going to assume that the cargo helicopter is a lot cheaper. But if I place that there... Right, and I'm going to run all the way back around again, boys. We now have... Is the sun going down? Yes. We now have the cargo helicopter landing pad ready to rock and roll. We're going to have so many different varieties of getting cargo to our store right now. Look at how good this is now looking. So, what I need to do is now buy an actual helicopter. Not quite sure if I've got the money, but we've got a long way to go. And we got to fly it as well. So hopefully I can remember the controls. Oh, I almost jumped down that big, huge hole right there. That would have been shocking. Absolutely shocking that would have been right there, boys. Right, I'm running. Also, why is my character so tall? Has he all of a sudden been drinking all his milk? Eating all his KFC? Because my character's definitely grown, right? He's definitely got a lot taller, which is really, really, really weird right now. But we're here. Now, listen, dude, speak to me. Where is these Hello Copters? Hello Choppers? Hello Kitties? Um, where is it? Whoa, okay. So the cargo airship, what we bought last episode in the last update, 12,000 cargo capacity. Acceleration's 30, top speed 60. So the acceleration here is 50 and 130, so this is definitely a lot faster. But the cargo capacity is only 4,000. Now, is that more than the semi-track? Where is that? No, okay. It's 2,000 less than the electric semi-track. So let's... How much is this, but 500,000! They must think your boys made a cash money bola. Right, we're going to buy it because, you know, it's what I do. Uh, but very expensive. I've now got it. It's here. It's red. And if I can... Oh, they actually added in what we need to do to go up and down. So here we go. You can strafe in this. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So we now have the freaking helicopter, boys. And this apparently goes 130 miles an hour. Oh, it's got dark. It's got dark. But this is pretty good. I'm going to see if I can actually land it on the helipad. Right, we're going up. Who would have thought we'd have, like, actually flying vehicles in this game? Not me! Not me, boys! Right, I'm going to try and bring this down. Get it in place. Right, here we go. Nope. Easy, easy. 
and we land this bad boy. We landed it. So I think what we should do is we should actually try and pick up some cargo, right? That is one thing I never tried to do in the big cargo airship. So what I'll do, right, I'll get my workers and we'll unassign them vehicles. Uh, so it's only me that can go and collect the cargo right now. So none of them should have any vehicles. Great stuff. And we need to kind of buy some items. And my car park is almost filled up. This is kind of crazy. So what items do we need to buy? Just kind of quickly scanning around right now. They, they, I mean, oh, definitely some toys. So I can, I, this is what I got to remember. Oh, there's already stuff at the loading dock right now. Oh, we can't have it because we have the storage pretty much full. So 4,000 is the capacity. So if I buy 100 toys, 3,600. Okay, I'm already pretty much there. Buy some clothing. I'm going to get close to it. Buy some fruits. Uh, there we go. I've pretty much gone over the 4,000 capacity right now, which is fine. Do what we got to do. But, right, I've got to go collect it in my actual cargo uh, helicopter, which is going to be so freaking cool right now. A uh, lot of stuff needs to be put on the... Well, people need to buy lots of stuff so I can sell stuff because at the moment I've got a lot of kind of cargo in storage. Hey, Mr. Police Officer, any criminals around here? I don't think so. So up we climb, boys. Up we... Oh, it has a little back section. You can go... Oh. This is amazing. Does that mean... Oh my god. Does that mean, right, you can have passengers? Oh, this is going to be so cool. Let's drive the helicopter then. So I didn't do this in the cargo airship. I never actually went and collected any cargo. So I don't know how difficult this is going to be. But I'm kind of really, really excited. So long, suckers! Right, we're definitely going to keep decreasing it right now. And I know it's kind of over here. It looks like, like a... Like a um, a cargo dock in a weird way where you kind of land which makes me then think is there going to be ships at this point but at the same time that's on the edge of a cliff so it wouldn't really make much sense right so here we go I've landed this puppy the back is now opened I can load the vehicle whoa we're gonna box this boys the boxes are coming in so freaking fast right now <laughs> right that's pretty cool and then we can elevate up. As soon as we get towards off the landing pad, the back of it then closes. Oh my god, guys. Do you not realize or not notice how quick that was to go pick up some goods after I bought it? Oh my goodness me, boys. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous how quick we just collected some goods. I mean, I'm still trying to get used to the controls. I'm still trying to get used to the controls right now. Easy. Easy. So, we landed this puppy. Unload the vehicle. The boxes then go falling out all over the place, which is hilarious. Can I keep unloading? Oh, we can't unload anymore because my storage is currently full. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, so, there's still stuff left on my truck. They're still calling it a truck when it's a helicopter right now. Get out of here, you damn fools. So we got away from them to like load like the toys and stuff like that and like the uh, the fruit which will then kind of make uh, a little bit of clear space because my toy store right now literally up here has nothing on the shelves so as that then unloads we should de oh no we still got a while to go with all of that stuff damn damn so storage and what do we have a lot of oh condiments and beverages i don't even think i have shelves for condiments and beverages I don't think I do, boys. Right, so yeah, there's no time to be sitting. There's no time to be sitting down. We might need to rejig some stuff in here to get some condiments and beverages in place. So if I could go to build right now, go down. Now, if I go to da, 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 shelving, actually no, let me get to store inventory first. The condiments and beverages can go on. Oh, okay, the beverages can go in like a freezer fridge. Okay, uh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough space for what I want to do unless I switched out the potatoes onions and corn to get two additional shelves down now if I was to go and stock the shelves we have for the beverages one condiments two so I technically knew two shelves so pineapples potatoes onions and corn unfortunately we are now going to um, say goodbye as I make these smaller items. Okay. And by smaller items. One, two, three, four. 
I know we've got two watermelons, but it is what it is. It is what it is at the end of the day. Bam, bam. That's for the condiments, but I still need the... Uh, is it the freezer or the cabinet? The fr is it the freezer for the... Uh... I think it would be. I can put like a freezer in the, in the front just here. For the uh, the beverages. So stuck in the showers real quick. Condiments. We got the jelly over there. We have the peanut butter. Beverages over there. So it was the pineapples, potatoes, uh, onions, and corn that we kind of missed out on right there. So that allows me to get those additional items in anyway. So that's a kind of like a big help. Now, is that enough to kind of free up some storage? Oh, almost. We're like 284 away. 284 away right now. So everyone needs to keep buying some stuff. So I can't unload anymore until more peeps have bought stuff. So stuck it. Oh, no, wrong button. What else have we got a lot of? Uh, games consoles, by the looks of it. Large appliances. Now, where are we got the large appliances? They're up in here, aren't they? Now, the only downside is... Oh, okay. We definitely don't have any room. We do need some office... Um, is it office stuff about that? Oh, baggage stuff we need as well. Which is kind of crazy. So, school supplies. Do we have a section for school supplies? I don't quite remember if we do or not. Um, small and large furniture. Ammo. So, I think it's just a case of it will just slowly drip down until we've pretty much got everything which you know it's gonna take some time let's, let's, let's be real right now but i wonder if i can go to the where's my furniture store anyway is it downstairs so my furniture store it did i build a furniture store there's my gym store did i build a furniture store because i have furniture right where is the furniture 50 and a 50. I don't think I've got a furniture store, to be honest with you. I really don't think I've got one. That will take a lot of the heat off some of this. So build. Let me just double check anyway. No furniture around these parts. Going up. That's all just normal storage. That's my gym store. So if I just place down... Okay, where does the store... Where does the, the furniture go in? If I go to store inventory, it goes into the floor... And the big ones as well. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to throw it here just for the sake of it. A load of stuff there. Change the size. And just do a line just here. And then, I don't know if I can, if there is room to get multiple there. But if I then stock the shelves and go to the furniture. So, this will put some huge dents into what i can actually put on these because these furniture are huge in unit sizes so large furniture a, a couch beds right well tables just there so i don't get to use those by the looks of it um exercise equipment they're more for cars right yeah <laughs> again i'm not putting any cars up there that would be a help anyway that will be a considerable help anyway. I'll put another couch there. Why not? Why not? So that should pay put a chunk out, which it has. We're going to unload the vehicle, which is now completely unloaded my helicopter. And I got plenty of space. That's pretty cool, right? I think I'm in love with this brand new cargo helicopter. So what I'll do now anyway is assign the cargo airship to you. Assign the cargo helicopter to you. Uh, you've assigned the, the semi truck right now. And then we'll go for the miniature truck. I have the biggest, most highest capacity vehicles now all pretty much set up to pick up goods when I need them and when I order them. So we are rocking and rolling all the way to the bank. I can't believe we got an actual helicopter. I still can't believe we got an actual helicopter in the game right now. What are they going to add next? Airplanes? Could, we can build a runway? I don't know what they're going to add next, guys. The developer just keeps blowing my mind. He really does. And I think on that note, we are going to end it for here. Let me know what you think about the helicopter, guys. Have you bought it? Can you afford it? Uh, and what vehicles would you like to see in the future? Well, until next time, I will see you. So good. Bye.